This is Ron Venospain from East Marsh Acres, and uh, we are here uh, talking about the delivery of our new chicks. One's kind of brown. So the there's bloggers. six of them. And yeah, they, they, they look very different from what I remember. Well, they're different kinds. Oh, are they? These three are different kinds. Okay. Oh, Dipping their beaks into the water so they know where the water is. Magic water as well. So it's got what a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. Something else, I think. Alfie's got to get his nose in there. And one last one. What's going on, Al? Aren't they ever noisy, huh? Aren't they ever noisy? What are those, Albie? Don't touch them, Al. You be gentle. Can we show them where the heat is? No, you don't need to. I'll get there. Really? You're going for the grit? You guys know that's grit, right? Do they need grit right away? Um, they will, yeah. That's the food. That's the food. So these are our egg layers. We'll uh, be keeping them inside for what a month, five weeks, something like that, four or five weeks, and then we'll need to introduce them to the other chickens. Hopefully, we'll have them outside by that point in time, um, so that they'll be introduced into the outside environment first. See that mom put down uh, the absorbent um, tissues of it, got diapers for the first little while. And then we'll go over to uh, which is Albie. Hey. Albie. Hey. Hey. Back up. It's that brown one that's really loud. I could hear there was one in the car that was like <laughs> really loud. I'll be very interested. Oh, you got some poop? I'd like to see them drink.
Did I dip their beast again? No. I don't know if I did it good enough. I, I, I think we're fine. Set up the camera again. Yeah. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know if it's being mean or not being able to control their body. No, it was that yellow one, the brown one, checked at that one foot. How about you go tight? I have a meeting, uh, so I'm going to check back later. Okay, just touching base with the chicks again. They have definitely settled down. Much quieter than they were before. They're all huddled underneath the heating pad. Uh, seem to be working at the food a little bit. Making a mess. See if I can get the camera underneath. Not enough light. There they are. Yeah, I think they're going to be a little bit shy for the first little while. I'll keep coming uh, back and checking in uh, from time to time. We'll see what happens with them. Hopefully they'll be fine. Hi, Trisha here from East Marsh Acres and give you a little update on our day old chicks. Actually, it's day two for them. So here they are. I'll give it to you. So they're eating, they're eating the grit, they're drinking water, they're very, very messy. Look at all the feet all over the place. So we've got two very black ones, one kind of a cocoa color, and then two lighter ones that are pretty identical, and then one's a little bit darker of the golden ones. I haven't seen anyone that's really dominant yet. Maybe one of the red sex link ones rather than the black. But um, look at, they're already getting little feathers on the side. And that's on day, probably day three for them. Yeah, I'm already getting there. So, <clears throat> this um, heater that I have inverted here is uh, keeping it nice and warm there. Um, it's about 28 degrees Celsius, so that's nice and warm for them. And so they go under, under there and sleep, but they're not so... Um, cold, I guess, because they are going out. They're huddled a little bit together because they're kind of scared of me. So I'm going to kind of go over here. And then I'll 
going there underneath. So you can see how they go underneath there when they want to. We had a couple of them jumping up onto the wood there. And then there's a hole, so I kind of stoppered it with some cleaning cloths, or they're new, but uh, some clean cloths, and then so that they don't get stuck in those holes if they jump up on there. So I didn't think that they'd be jumping up yet, but they are. So, so it's a very deep tub, so I think we're, I think we're good for a little bit. When they do start jumping up, then we will cover cover it with some mesh or so on, so they can't fly out. But they are testing their wings, so tonight I'll have to change their the bottom of there, and then I'll probably because um, they are they are poopy, mostly underneath the heat mat the heat thing because that's where they're spending most of their time right now and uh, I will probably buy some some uh, wood wood shavings to put on there after I've gone through the the uh, doggy poop pee mats that I have so they're working well so anyways that's an update for day three for them <clears throat> and I uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions uh, let me know and we'll talk to you soon bye for now hi it's Trisha from East Marsh Acres and just give you a little update on our chickies so it's day four for them day three for us They're all eating, they're eating their grit, they're eating their food. We just changed the pads inside so everything's nice and clean. They're drinking well. They are jostling each other and oh, they're going to their safe spot in that corner. I'm doing this. So I'm going to back off a little bit.
whether it's a tasty bit or not. Make sure that they're all keeping properly. So far I don't see anything. Anyways, I saw enough get a little chip fix today and we'll see you tomorrow. So this is Roland and Patricia and uh, we're just giving you an update on little chickies and uh, yeah they're doing well. So this is day four for them being here. Day four for them being here, five for them. For their life? Life. <laughs> In terms of behaviors, um, they're starting to be a little less skittish. They're still, uh, I think we need to handle them some more. Because they're still fairly uh, skittish of being picked up, etc. But uh, generally speaking, they are doing extremely well. I just uh, refilled their food this morning and it's already half gone. Now a lot of it actually sits in the in the, the, the red uh, distributor around <coughs> the actual uh, container with the food in it. Trisha just refilled their water and they seem to be uh, going for a drink every once in a while. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. A little bit of uh, baby grit for them, so a little bit of very fine uh, materials for their gizzards. Because they don't have teeth, they need to actually uh, have little stones in this muscular organ called the gizzard that uh, helps them grind up their feed because uh, they don't have teeth in their mouth to be able to grind it up. Um, all birds have that kind of feature. Um, the lighter birds, so the golden ones, seem to have the beginning of feathers that are showing up. That's the white um, that you're seeing on the back of their their bodies themselves. I think the black ones do too. You just can't see them. Here's one. Oh, look at the wings already. Oh, you're okay. You're fine. Complain, complain, complain. Okay. A little bit of dirt at the back. Fuzzy down. Very soft. You want to pick up one of the black ones? If you can. <laughs> oh, you're okay. You're fine. Yeah, they're getting wings so you just oh, can't, okay. see, can't, yep. can't see them. A little bit of feathers. That one's cleaner. Just making sure they don't have a real poopy butt. Mm -hmm. I just gotta, gotta give them a bath. Oh, you're okay. You're fine. Oh, the other ones have gone. I'm hiding because I was chasing the other one. Come on, ladies. Come on. You can come out. Come on. You can come out. Um, I don't know if we've done this, but uh, the black um, piece of uh, equipment that you're seeing there is a heater. So it's got the uh, extension cord uh, to it, um, and it just essentially creates a uh, warm environment underneath. And that's why they tend to go in there, uh, particularly when they're... Um, so it's, it's acting like an incubator particularly when they're sleeping, mm, exactly. uh, they'll go under there. 
Yeah, so it's... Oh, man. Keeping them warm. So the first week we keep it, like, or I have a temperature gauge and it says it's 28. Um, probably higher. Maybe it's higher. I don't know. That's higher as my temperature <laughs> gauge will go. Um, and it, um, uh, it's supposed to be like that for the first week. And then what I'll probably do is I, I'll lift it. lift it a bit so that it's further away from them. And, uh, and there's two settings on this uh, cozy heater. And uh, so it's on the high setting right now. So I'll do the lifting and then we can change it later to the low one. Um, we just, they let us tell us if they're too hot as well too. As if they um, are coming out here and they're spreading their wings out. Yeah, or they're too hot they're or something like that. They're themselves up. Um, you know, if they're too cold, then they're under there all the time, which they're not. So that's that's a good indication that they're not too cold. Um, so, yeah. But this is warm as we can get it, so <laughs> that's all they're going to get. Well, <laughs> right I suppose now. we could put uh, uh, a blanket over top or something along those lines so that no oh no drafts and stuff. Come in. It's not going to be a lot of drafts. In but this, this yeah. room now it's is now quite warm. Now it's nice warm. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, there's underfloor heating so in the uh, concrete pad underneath our, our feet uh, it's all radiant um, warm air that's being circulated through there and uh, that's keeping not only this room but the entire house actually uh, quite nice and warm mm -hmm. it's uh, we keep it at a constant temperature about 21 degrees and uh, that works for the entire house so there is no active heating that we uh, turn on uh, unless we need uh, specific spot heating, and then we can turn the heat pump on. All right, I think we should wrap this one up and uh, get it posted so others can see uh, the cute little chickies that are uh, here. Uh, again, later on the spring, so April-ish, I think, um, we are looking into um, building a, another chicken coop that's portable outside. It's, uh, it'll be a different kind of uh, coop because it's one that uh, the meat chickens will actually be in. And uh, <laughs> the, uh, the meat chickens will um, be moved for every day so that uh, that particular uh, chicken coop needs to be portable so we can move it around and so that they can eat not only the feed that we're going to be giving them but also from the uh, the grass that's going to be underneath their feet. Um, so we look forward to actually having what 30 or 40 uh, meat chickens that we'll be putting into there um, but they will be inside to begin with so I think we'll probably have one or two of these um, incubator for uh, a little while uh, later on in April. But uh, we will update you about that when we get there. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.